okay, so you decide not to go pro. Mm -hmm. And instead, you enrolled in UNLV. Yeah. And things kind of went left. They went all the way left. Yeah. yeah. Can you describe what happened? Well, they said I cheated on my SAT. I, mean, I don't know how a 6'9 black kid cheated on the SAT. He scored too high. He scored too high. The guy that took the test, he he scored too high. <laughs> he scored too high. So I guess uh, they looked at my my average as a student, and then looked at my SAT score, and then they like started investigating. Like the NCAA, they got like federal FBI agents. That's how serious they take it because they had like the. Um, the handwriting analysis and all that with the test, and they was they were able to prove that I didn't take the score. I mean, I didn't take the test, so they called oh, me. Okay, so so twenty something years later, you admit that someone else took the test. Yeah. Okay, so you just paid someone someone off to yeah, take that's it. That's the whole. That's you know, it? anybody in New York City, you know, and basketball. New York City is like the um, the hotbed, a hotbed for basketball talent, right? But do you know how many great basketball players weren't able to play college basketball because of that damn test? So in New York, if you got a good player and you want him to play in um, Division One basketball, they're going to get it done. That's like in, in, in the AAU world, they're going to say you get it done. And so they got it done for me. We just got caught. Okay, and how much did it cost to pay this guy to take oh, this I test? Oh, I have no idea. I have no idea. Okay. 